Anterior column reconstruction is a technique that we've been employing now to improve patient's uh, deformity or improve the correction in their spinal alignment. Oftentimes patients are coming in, they're stooped over, their head is no longer aligned with their pelvis. And the way for us to induce that or, or allow them to, to reproduce that natural alignment is to induce lordosis. And in the old days, we would induce lordosis by taking away bone from the back of the spine. So we'd perform osteotomies, a lot of blood loss, high complication rates, and we would reduce that, that uh, dorsal column. Whereas now, we've got newer techniques where we can come from the front or from the side, we can place lordotically shaped grafts, so grafts that are wedge-shaped, and induce that lordosis by distracting the anterior column. And therefore, we don't have to remove the bone, we don't have to do a lot of these more complex procedures that are highly invasive and far more complicated to do. Uh, lateral access surgery is a technique that allows us to approach the spine from the side. So it enables us to perform, for example, that less invasive uh, anterior column reconstruction um, without having to come through the back and remove the bones to remove the ligaments and the tendons or remove the tension band that allows us to stand erect. So the future of minimally invasive spine surgery is going to involve the incorporation of robotics and uh, neuronavigation and techniques that enable us to place instruments, to place hardware with, far, with much greater precision and accuracy and being able to do it much more expeditiously. And that's really where the future is going to take us.